The good news that Jesus said, in my father's house are many rooms, and I go there to prepare a place for you, for all those who know him. You know the Bible says, let the rich say I'm poor, no. the poor say I'm rich. Because you know we have an eternal kingdom. I just want to speak uh, from uh, the gospel for the first week. Uh, Jesus said in the gospel for the first week. I've been to Kenya several times, here a few times, uh, Rwanda a few times, and a close. Oh, sorry. Njira ho Kenya, Nazar Rwanda, na na ha. I had a close friend who planted many churches in Congo. His name was Willie Burton. The witch doctors gave him enough poison to kill a hundred men. He drank it not mine as poison. But he didn't die. The witch doctors got convicted and confessed their sins to him. And he led them to Jesus. He planted hundreds upon hundreds of churches in the Congo in the 50s and 60s. We prayed for the Congo in the 50s and 60s. And we've been praying for the different nations of the world for years. I've actually prayed for every nation in the world. I've visited 40 to 50 countries so far. Because Jesus said, Greater works than these shall you do, because I go to the Father and I send the Holy Spirit. So I just want to read this story about Jesus. And I'm going to read this story about if you have a Bible, turn to Luke chapter 4 and verse 1. If not, I'll read it and my brother will interpret. Uh, Luke chapter 4 and verse 1. Luke chapter 4 and verse 1. And Jesus being full of the Holy Spirit, returned from Jordan, or was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Yesu akawashira mu ekwera ya twarwa omuyaba omuyoba yotani omuyaba. Being forty days tempted of the devil, in those days he did nothing. Akamalayo no kunyana na nichiro aktesu kastani boka inetia kuzere. And when the road boy became hungry, kantia chile ya jirejara. And the devil said to him, If thou be the son of God. Command this stone that it be made bread. And Jesus said to him, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. The word of God is more important. The spiritual food is more important. The physical food will sustain your life here on earth. But the spiritual food will give you eternal life. Jesus yes, was offered to the whole world. Jesus said to the devil, tempt not the Lord. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit of God. And there went fame of him everywhere. And he talked in the synagogue everywhere. And then he came on one day to the synagogue. And 
And he quoted from Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61 was prophesying about Jesus. And this is what he quoted. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. To preach deliverance to the captive. And recovery of sight of the blind. To set at liberty them that are bound. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Another word for bound is to be bruised, to be harmed, to be hurt. I just got to quote the actual thing from Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. The poor can also mean the afflicted. She is come to preach the gospel to the poor and the afflicted. And he has sent me to bind up the broken hearted. To bring liberty to the captives. And the opening of the prison to those that are bound. And to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. The Lord's favour, the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who mourn. To grant those who mourn. To give them a beautiful headdress instead of ashes. The oil of gadgets instead of mourning. The garment of praise instead of fainting. That they may be called hopes of righteousness. The planting of the Lord. The planting of the Lord. Planting. That he may be glorified. You know, he's going to build up the ancient ruins. He's going to raise the former devastations. He's going to repair the ruined cities. The devastations of many generations. Jesus is a restorer. Jesus is a healer. When he walked this earth, he went about doing good to the poor. He went about healing the sick. Giving sight to the blind. Changing lives. He went about giving sight to the blind. Changing lives. I myself had a broken heart. Jesus healed my broken heart. I remember when I was five years old, seeing my mother dying on the floor. I was brought up in a strict children's home. And without love. I ended into drug addiction. I started to sell the drugs. I was put in prison. When I was released from prison, Christians took me into their home. One young man told me how his life had changed from being heavy on alcohol. And he shared with me from Isaiah 53, which was written 700 years before Jesus came into the world. And in Isaiah 53, speaks about Jesus dying on the cross. He says, all we like sheep have gone astray. But the Lord has laid iniquity on us all in the body. Surely has borne our griefs and our sorrows. He was afflicted and we didn't esteem him. 
Akate Akatekan Today we see what that means. Because a historical fact was that Jesus died in agony on the cross. The first man, Adam, sinned. We don't have to teach a child to be naughty, they're already are naughty. You have to teach them to be good. You will not bring one way to start, yeah, you got one way to start. You know, the Bible says the way to sin is death. People that don't want to get it, you know, fuck. That we've all sinned. Can't turn off Kashisha. And come short of the glory of God. Why we're casting such our hunger. But you know, the free gift of God is eternal life in His Son, Jesus Christ. God so loved the world that He sent His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him would not perish but have everlasting life. This young man asked me to pray with him. So I copied these words. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for dying on the cross for me. Forgive me for my sins. Come into my heart, take over my life. Then I started to pray, Lord, make me strong because I realized I couldn't give up drugs on my own. Also, give me the desire to please you because I won't do things out of duty because I was disciplined without love. As soon as I finished praying, I was filled with joy and peace. You know, the next day people offered me drugs. Next day, people offered me drugs to me. I heard myself saying no. God changed my heart. God healed my heart. He healed my broken heart. He wants to do the same for you. Will you say a prayer with me? Would you like to have the same Hands up all those who want the same experience. Hands up all those who want the same experience. Okay, I'm going to say a prayer. Let's all say it out aloud, shall we? Repeat after me. Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you that you died on the cross for me. Forgive me for my sin. Help me to be good. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Take over my life, Lord Jesus. Heal my heart, Lord Jesus. Take away my sorrows. Fill me with your spirit. Fill me with your joy. Fill me with your faith. Fill me with your love. Help me to know you. Help me to tell others about you. Help me to be a good example for them. Help me to be a good example for them. Help me to be a good example for them. Help me to be a good example for them. Help me to be a good example for them. Help me to be a good
disciples. The last words he said to his disciples. The last words he said to his disciples. The last words he said to his disciples. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Cast out demons. <laughs> Kill the sick, which is not a weird, set the captives free, proclaim the acceptable Lord of the time. You know, the prayer of faith will heal the sick. That's the He said to them to go and lay hands on the sick. And the sick shall be healed. Today, if you ask Jesus into your heart, He will heal you. 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 He will You have the ability, the power. Oh, oh, to proclaim liberty to the captives. To pray healing for the sick. If your neighbor is not well, tell them about the love of Jesus. Pray for them and God will heal them. God has a plan for your life. You're not just here by accident. I didn't come here by accident. The Holy Spirit brought me here to bring this news. Oh, This is good news. This is great news. You have a future and a hope. Do not fear, only believe. 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 Jesus says, forgive them. Yes, my dear, what was that today? You can only do that by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, you know, I thought you could have some kind of way. But if you obey the word of God, forgive them and pray for them. Oh, I said, I said, I said, I God will bless you. Right now, pay the song shot. If you don't forgive, you'll get bitterness. What does that say? And no, what you don't shot is it? If you start to pray for them and bless them, God will bless you. What does the bless you? And then I go out and I'm gonna come shot. You'll get blessing and peace and joy. No, I don't want to shot. No, I see that no shame in what. He's here to give abundantly to you. And I have to pray as a king to you. Should I come here that you might experience an abundant life? I can show you what you got, but I don't have to go. Jesus was manifested to destroy all the works of the devil. Yes, there was a man in the Old Testament, his name was Joseph. His brother sold him into slavery, into Egypt, a foreign country. But God promoted Joseph. Because Joseph was faithful to God. He became prime minister of that land. One day his brothers were hungry. They went to Egypt for food. And Joseph was the one that fed them. Because Joseph had forgiveness. And he said to them, You meant it for evil. But God meant it for good. People might mean things towards you as evil. But if you respond in the right spirit, God will turn it to good for you. Trust in the Lord, you shall want any good thing. A man's life doesn't consist in the abundance of the things he possesses. We came into the world with nothing, we go up with nothing. Remember what I said, man doesn't live by bread alone, human food. But every word that comes out the mouth of God. Jesus said, my words are spirit, and they're life. Yes, Read the word of God regularly. You will get life. You will be a blessing. You know, there's a man in my road. There's a, I've got a neighbour in my road. He said to me, you're the happiest man in the world. He didn't say I'm the richest man. He said I'm the happiest man. I'm not the richest man in the world, but I'm the happiest man. And he said to me, I'm not the richest man in the world, but I'm the happiest man. And of course he said to me, now that you've got married, this is my wife, you have to wear no avoid no chara wa wo. You have to 
Ya, 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 ya,